Hey everyone, uh, what we're going to do today is something new for every uh, every aspect of this. Um, in the vise, we have a 3 8 ounce uh, hybrid grass jig. This is the new one from Do It. Uh, and the color is awesome. And I apologize for my poor camera work. Um, the color is called tilapia. Uh, I got to give it to Brandon Chapman at Do It. Uh, this is probably one of the best bait fish colors I've ever seen in paint. And uh, like I said, the camera work is poor, so you really can't see how nice this is. But it's almost like um, a smoke with gold and blue glitter in it. Um, it's awesome. Anyway, that's what we have. It's a 3 8 ounce. We have a 3 op Mustad 32886 in it. Nothing exotic, uh, just to, to try this one out. Um, the keepers on here are really good. It's got a semi-recessed line tie. Um, you got some cool eyes, too. That's the other thing you're not getting uh, with my lousy camera work is how nice these, <laughs> these eyes are. I'll leave a link to them in the description. But is really good. It, it's going to be a paint inspired pattern. I call it a moon dust. And we're going to start here with some black 210 denier flat wax nylon thread and get a little bit of a base started. I've been playing around with this since I got it uh, the other day. And the first thing we're going to do is new skirt material. This is 15 strands of smoke. It's smoke blue green glitter, but um, I don't know if you could see that glitter in the camera. It's really fine. And the, it, there's not much green. It's mostly blue. So it, perp, it works really well with this. So I was trying to figure out what kind of colors I was going to get. And um, Barlow's came out with that uh, those close out skirt layers and they have these bolt tab smoke blue green um, do yourself a favor before they go get it I went and I got 200 tabs of this because uh, it looked okay on on the thing but I thought this is going to be one of them colors and sure enough it is I'm going to use this a lot any kind of bait fish pattern this is going to come into play I believe Okay, that's good. So we got our 15, ta uh, 15 strands of this smoke blue-green glitter in here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to flip it up, and we're going to put another 15 strands on. And all I do is just line it up with what I already have tied in. You know to drill pretty much by now. Most of these do. We'll even everything up at the end. Okay. Now, we're going to take, on the top here, we're going to take two strands of pale blue pepper. I know you're probably thinking two strands ain't nothing, but wait and see how this turns out. Um, I'm really pleased with it. And you set it up on the, on the top here, like if you have one strand on each side of the weed guard. And now we're going to take three strands of this uh, clear gold glitter. Uh, depending on where you get this, it's sometimes called uh, neon gold, sometimes called um, clear gold, sometimes it's called satin gold. But it's all pretty much the same, which is it's a clear with uh, real fine gold. They don't even call it glitter, they call it crystal. Um, I don't know what the difference is, but that's what they, they say. 
and I apologize now for if the audio is a little messed up. Um, I'm playing with the mic settings, and I'm still having some minor difficulties with this camera. Um, playing with the gain and everything else. To see what we can, what works. I think a lot of it has to do with my voice. I can't stand it. So if you can muddle through my audio here. See, I have this loose too. There's our gold in there. There. Now we're going to do the same thing on the back end, only we're going to do it in reverse. We're going to take two strands of this gold and tie it in. You see, you got to just make sure you got the right length. You can always cut some off. You can't add it once once it's once it, it's cut. You can't add any. So you want to make sure you have enough hanging out the back. The front's all right because uh, you can actually. I've done that too. Um, I do that with spinner baits a lot, where I will have um, the skirt. We'll flip this up and get it out of our way. Um, you'll have the skirt shorter in the front. And what that does is it gives you a really nice flare, to be honest. So you could do that with the swim jig. Just got to make sure you have enough in the back end to cover that hook. Okay. We've got our two strands of gold tied in. Now the same thing, pale blue pepper. Three strands. Two on the top and then three on the bottom and the exact opposite for the gold. Two on the top, three on, three on the or three on the top, two on the bottom. I'm sorry, I'm getting that all messed up. A little early in the day. Still drinking coffee yet. Now, all our uh, skirt materials tied in. The next thing, two strands of gold flashaboo. Now you can use the holographic. I, in fact, I'm going to use holographic in a little bit, but uh, I like the plain gold because it's gold. Um, the holographic has too much other colors going on to really get the, the gold effect. We do that. We turn it over. And now we have two strands of blue holographic. The blue holographic is really nice. It's a deep blue. It's really shiny. But... The reason I like the holographic blue, uh, blues, green, silver, is because you get most of the color. The gold kind of doesn't look like gold, if that makes sense to you. It just it has a different look to it. Apologize here. I'm trying to get a hold of this material, and it really likes to evade you. It's like a purposely avoiding me. Like, no, nope, I'm not gonna let you tie. There we go. And that's it. Now we're just going to finish up our collar and then we're going to draw our uh, weed guard in here. That's the one thing with the flashaboo in here. Sometimes it gets a little unruly. 
make sure I have it all covered. Try to keep my wraps as even as I can while dealing with the flashaboo. But it's going to be oh so worth it. In fact, what I'm going to do now to help myself is I'm going to trim this flashaboo before we're done. <laughs> now the static is making it stick to my fingers. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Four, five, and six. And we'll do four more. Even though you don't need to, it just makes me feel better. One, two, three. Watch the flash. I'm getting tangled here. This is a menagerie. I got myself caught up with the uh, flashaboo a little bit. I apologize for this. That's something that doesn't happen too often, but it does happen, especially if I'm tying a lot of them. I'll get one or two that does this. I get in a little bit too much of a hurry. And I go to tighten that knot down, and I end up getting the flashable tangled. Okay, well now we're good. Sorry about that little hiccup. We're going to take our loom water-based head cement. See, that's the thing. Um, this is one of the reasons why I never wanted to edit my videos. Because when stuff like that happens, um, and it will happen from time to time, I want you to see how, you know, take your time and work it out. and It'll all work out in the end. It'll, it'll get fixed. Just don't get, don't panic and go with it. Makes for a little bit choppy video, but. Cut that end. Take our little clip off here. Make sure they're all cut. And we'll throw our weed guard on and I'll show you what we have after we fix our skirt. So I see we have another another straggler that didn't cut all the way. Now I can even it out. Draw our weed guard on with some Loctite super glue gel, as always. 
certain things I never change. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I really, really like this pattern. Once I straighten out all my skirt material, get everything situated where it's supposed to be. That is moon dust in the new hybrid grass jig. Tell me that ain't a nice looking bait fish pattern. Anyway, there you have it. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.